private first class, Jose Merced, begins his work day early. The sun is not yet up, and it will be down again before he is done. Typical day, we just go down to the station, um, get armed up. Um, then we do what we call a guard mount. We see if there's something new, something happened now. Uh, the yeah. night before. Here you see Merced. Papa 2 is Sally uh, Gonzalez. Papa 3 is Christmas. And then um, pretty much start a day. Just patrol, um, check every post, make sure everything is alright, and um, report everything. As well as patrolling the base and providing security, these soldiers are building a rapport with their Honduran counterparts. Uh, they like working with us because we show them, like, we teach them new stuff. Um, sometimes all they do is like their job and that's it. They don't have like new training or nothing. So they, you know, they come up to us, ask us about the, our job. We teach them like um, security procedures, like gate procedures, all this stuff. Much of the training for the Hondurans is on the job, such as anti-terrorism measures to ensure base security. Vehicles are stopped and checked for explosive devices, weapons, and even drugs. It's Merced's job to protect the base and its personnel, but outside of work, he gives up his free time at the JSF-sponsored school for special needs children in the town of Comiagua. For us, like making sure those kids um, are having a good time, making sure they're staying um, on the right path of life, like doing the right thing, is part of our job. It's, it has to do with the same job we do as JSF. Um, and part of that is us going there and playing with them, you know, sharing our time with them, letting them know that we're here um, to take care of them and help them um, have a better life. From helping one community to protecting another, you can be sure that this MP will be on the beat protecting the facilities and personnel of his area of responsibility. Specialist Chuck Gill, Sotocano Air Base, Honduras.